Respected brothers, how can we reach that level that some of the Sahaba reached, insha'Allah? First of all, first of all, al imanu billah. First of all, we must believe in Allah in everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said. The second thing is making sure that we gather. We come to gathering where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is remembered. It is so crucial. The third thing is accompany good people. Respected brother, you have a girlfriend, you're drinking alcohol. Respected brother, you're taking drugs. Respected brother, you're disobedient to your parents. If you are serious about repenting, the first thing that I want you to do is keep away from your influential friends who are influencing you to do the wrong thing. We all know this story where a man killed 99 people. And then he came to an ignorant person like me. And he said to him, will Allah forgive me? He said, no. So he killed him. And that's the result of giving the wrong fatwa. Then he went to a scholar. He said, yes, there is no shield between you and Allah. You ask Allah, whatever you ask him, it goes directly to Allah. But what did he tell him? He didn't tell him, start praying. What did he tell him? He said, leave your evil friends, your bad friends, and go to another place where they remember Allah. And they are righteous. So respect the brother. If you're serious about abstaining from haram, leave your bad friends. The Prophet has said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, only accompany a believer. He didn't say Muslim. We know what some of the Muslims are doing. The biggest gang leaders, the biggest drug dealers, a Muslim, Muhammad, Mahmoud, Khalid. So the Prophet has said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, only accompany a believer. Respected brothers, I'm begging you for the sake of Allah. Accompany righteous people. Because you are depending on whom you associate with. The Prophet has said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the person is on the religion of his companion. Then observe who you accompany. This is one advice that I'd want the young men, especially now that we have school holidays. I am begging you for the sake of Allah to associate with good people. Also, occupy yourself in what benefits you. You want to have a life of prosperity? Please be obedient to your parents. I'm begging you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahi al-azim. If you don't, Allah will punish you in this life before the hereafter, even if your parents are kuffar. The Prophet has said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sins, there are sins that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delays to the hereafter, except for those who are disobedient to their parents. Allah will punish them in this life before the hereafter. Now, now, today, today, after you pray, go and say to your parents, please forgive me, regardless, even if they're wrong. I'm begging you for the sake of Allah, because I love you for the sake of Allah. You want prosperity with your wife, with your children? Be obedient to your parents. We are one no mama who should stand with each other through all the highs and lows.